welcome back YouTube. This is Juicy, and I got a very friendly guest of the channel. That is Valley Flying, the one, the only. Uh, hello, hello. The master of Smash, and he. We're gonna go <laughs> over how to smash Bowser Crystal. You ready to get into it, Valley? I am. I am, because I need you to teach me how to smash in Cosmic Crucible. I'm always learning from you, Juicy. All right. So we're just gonna go and over some of the defenses that you may put. So today we're gonna go over a very defense. What we would consider the stronger, strongest defense to put on Cosmic Crucible. I would, for, I would warn you as somebody who, if you're more casual in this game mode, uh, this defense will be very taxing on your offense. And so I wouldn't recommend running all of this, but these are some strong options. Uh, those one or two maybe pull from this list uh, to make your defense very, very strong. So we're going to start with room one, which is the room with the skirmishers, raiders, and striker callouts. So I start with extreme rogue. Um... When you could, so kind of over this, when you go over, when you turtle, you start to put extreme into one room. Uh, okay. This, this puts all the X-Men together, um, and it forces very specific counters. It forces MOE2, or it forces um, Superior Six with Vulture. There's not a whole lot of other safe attacks besides those two, um, especially, um, yeah. So what are your thoughts? Have you fought, have, have you fought this, this team lately? So it looks like you're combining the best of the extreme the, with the best of the unlimited and into one like master team in that room. Mm -hmm. It's very very challenging. Anything with a uh, forge, nightcrawler, and gambit on the same team is annoying. Plus you got rogue there with the taunt that's tough to get around, and uh, cyclops always with the damage that you got to take into account. I'm not sure how the different classes are going to affect all the ability blocks that this room is going to introduce though. But uh, this this yeah, anytime extreme. Or unlimited on defense, it's it's always a challenge. Yeah, and I would also preference this that if you're looking at this and being like, why is the placement so off? Is uh, just having a time, right? If this is actually what I was setting, I would definitely make, you know, Forge probably a striker, put Forge in the corner. I would probably, you know, move. I would be moving people around. Um, there's a there's a case to make Nightcrawler a skirmisher because he goes first, and he can put okay. the early ability block on somebody that they weren't ready for that. Um, it's a very challenging defense when you can condense them. It lowers the counters to, to basically a couple, and that's why when you turtle up, this is a good comp. If you're going more offensive-minded, I recommend you splitting up your X-Men. You get two valuable, good defenses instead of one juggernaut defense. Um, and and you have a little bit more firepower because right once you do once you split them, you've taken two defensive rooms, so then you can put something else back onto offense. Uh, yeah. Room two, uh, this Ooh. is... <laughs> The raid room. The raid room is back. <laughs> um, so my only warning to you uh, is that Cabal will not work in this room. Uh, this is the only room where Cabal is not safe to use because uh, Cabal does not block on spawn uh, speed up and raid teams. Um, particularly Bifrost and Pegasus spawn with like a metric ton of speed bar. And they open with yeah. like, a rewind. So you're going to get rewound to zero. They're going to get like three turns and you're going to die. So you really can't use Cabal here. Um, but this is what we're going to open with, probably either Bifrost or Pegasus. My vote is Bifrost because Pegasus at least has more value off the out of this room, whereas Bifrost has no value out of this room, right? And are you talking value for Pegasus more in offense or potentially putting on another defensive room? Yeah, so Pegasus can be used on a bunch of other teams, especially Kestrel. Kestrel is a plug-and-play. We used it for mm, Tangle Web all season. Point. Uh, someone deletes Gamma on defense. That's a great one. Uh, for example, my room five, if your Pegasus is big enough, you can actually beat Infinity Watch with Pegasus pretty easily. Oh, and so, okay. There you go. So, That's impressive. So how, mu how, much of a, how much of a punch down would you recommend for that if you're going to try that yeah, matchup in up. room five? Oh, you could even punch up. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my my Pegasus is probably 2.2, so I could probably punch up on any Infinity Watch, even if they were 3 million. Okay. So that, that Infinity Watch is not going to hold. It's just there to try to ruin some efficiency for your opponent yeah, in room Infinity 5. Infinity Watch is, is just a punching bag now nowadays, especially out okay. of that room, that crazy room. Now they're, they're your goal for Infinity Watch is, is how big do you make them before they can take 20 turns to kill, you know? Mm. That's that's their whole gimmick. They're not going to win. They're not going to, especially now without their that bonus room, they're going to die in 10, 15 hits, and you're going to be okay with that. Um, because they're because it's gonna take the 10 15 hit yeah. right yeah they're gonna they're gonna tank it or they're gonna bring in something insane like an apocalypse to, to beat it faster and then you don't care because they use apocalypse like who you know you won yeah 
All right, that room three looks absolutely horrible. I hate whenever I see Superior or Sinister Six on defense. Ugh. What, what, uh, wh why, why such a horrible defense there? <laughs> yeah, um, actually, I would move. We're actually gonna make this worse. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we're gonna actually I should have said anything. You should have, you should leave it. Don't make it worse. Um, you should definitely want Lizard in here. You want him mocked and then. Um, the reason why is because they spawn with offense up, so the moment they ult, they're going to assist. There's really only one safe counter to this, and that's going to be your um, su sus with friends. So sus with doom, and okay. that's going to beat this, but you know, your undying doom apoc is very, very scary in this room now. Um, you could bring back dorm to help you with the revives, but... Those are really your only two options, I guess. The APOC one is sketchy. If you've if you've done it before, you know that it can get really really hairy. And this there's, I, there's, I, there's probably gonna be a lot of assists now floating around in that room. Yeah, and this team spawns with offense up. Extremes is the, probably the next best option. Uh, the only reason why I say that is because you just may if they if they have superior six on offense, uh, and they have Vulture, they now have a much faster uh, team. Mm. To, to just kind of go ahead of you, blow you up. Um, it doesn't give you a whole lot of options. Gotcha. Um, going into that. All right. Uh, Black Knight. Yeah. I don't like facing Black Knight. Yeah, so Black Knight. So probably That's about, the villain now room. We, now we don't have that revive removal. Uh, Dorm is going probably back on defense somewhere. In here, it's probably the stronger of the... Right, because this one lowers the villains going into it. And also now you have Dorm and Doom ulting on turn one. So now you have to get through the Black Knight. You have to stop the Doom from turn metering up. Um, actually, I would probably, in this case, I would keep Doom for offense. Uh, because you're probably going to need him to clear your opponent. And I would probably toss back in Vulture. Vulture is okay. going to fit in here nice because he's going to open with a rewind. Getting to that Dorm ult, which is going to do a lot of damage. They have to get to the Black Knight. Uh, Dorm will heal them back up. So there you go. Um, Vulture's probably opening with his ultimate, right? Yes, he opens with his ultimate. Ooh, and then uh, what you talked about on my channel, that Black Knight, the uh, lowering max health of the villains in room four, that Black Knight counter is going to be deadly because you mentioned a lot of the counters of Black Knight are villains. Yes, so your your main, right now the best you, way to counter Black Knight is either Superior Six or, um, what's his face? Uh, a cabal. Void. Cabal. Oh, cabal also. Okay. So those are two villains. And so villain, villain centric teams, it's completely villain teams, right? And so you're lowering their health so that Black Knight can come and knock them low. Uh, Black Knight's going to have a revive, so you can't just go in there and just easily one tap them. Uh, and then also this soaks in your cabal, which then they can't use cabal in room six, which will be another problem child. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right? Because right now we're seeing, and I, 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 warn you not to, if you put this on defense you're going to struggle against your opponent um that's one of the reasons i just literally pulled doom back like i'm i'm already wanting to yank things off this defense as we're going through this because i'm like i'm i'm seeing the problems that arise as you if you put all this on defense uh, okay having to you're gonna find yourself double tapping and triple tapping your own team some people love it i hate it so i'm not gonna personally do that but so look out for my first video of the season to see what i'm actually running on defense what the changes are gotcha yeah. uh we talked about infinity watch in room five as well you, you said beaten easily by pegasus but is going to sink some efficiency yeah. from your opponents so they they get beat by infinity watch they get beat by or sorry they get beat by um efficiently pegasus and then also eternals big time is a very good counter to this team uh and they don't have very many other options to attack in, in against this defense right you you have enough problems with the other rooms so this is just a great defense infinity watch is just a cockroach of msf they they refuse to die they refuse to leave the meta and that's where they're at and then room six <laughs> is all about robbie and the bleeds right all the ghost riders so robbie is the one that you're leading into in this one yes and so you have a couple of things going on so you have morgan giving you the other villain so now you got sus two heroes two villains uh morgan's uh takes whenever you take a turn she speeds up uh, sus speeds up so you're basically forcing them to probably have to use cabal here okay. and then uh it's going to create a struggle right because now they, they're they're split between using the cabal here and the cabal in four um and not only that poly cabal with your uh kang right 
to make sure that th nothing goes crazy. Gotcha. Now, big question about this defense. Do you have enough on offense if you are facing a defense like this to beat this defense? No. Either one shot or just full clear? No. No. Okay. <laughs> you, If you both put this on defense, you both load in, you might as well just say this is going to be like a game of five. Okay. Because <laughs> one of the rooms not getting cleared. The wall. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's the healthy right thing, right? So, this is not what – these are the, the great defenses, but I would not use all of these. I would, you know, probably – pull sus off of this team um, and probably just stick with putting in Agatha or Photon and just be happy with that. Or low Now, do you, if you use a defense this strong, you know, you may, you're probably not going to get the full clears. Do you still see potential of winning if you go this strong? Because obviously your opponent's going to have some trouble with you as well. Do you still see this as wins? Uh, it, it always comes down to skill. The, the, when you turtle, what happens is, is that the teams that are you, now your 15th team, your 16th team start having value. So mm. is your war dogs big enough to clean up? Is your hive mind big enough to clean up? Is your um, war dog, did I say war dog? Is your weapon X? Is your, are all these like ancillary teams, are they gotcha. big enough to clean up? A leftover half dead sinister six right because you're not going to one shot the sinister six you're trying to kill a couple members come in do it again come in you know that that's the nature of when you turtle this hard is you're going to find yourself if you find the same defense you yeah. will both be just banging your head against the wall so it's who who has the bigger secondary teams is ultimately who's going to win yes and if you have the bigger secondary teams then maybe this defensive setup might not get you full clears, but will get you wins, potentially. Yes. You are more likely to win with this defense if you have a bigger roster. Um, gotcha. But Makes sense. As I said, got to de de determine, like, is this something, if you want to win or do you want to enjoy your Crucible? Because this one is just one of those, like, you will love you will love winning, but you'll also love banging your head against the wall. Yeah, I think I think for me, I'd rather get the full clears than uh, potentially win every single matchup. I'd rather get full clears on everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, are there any other thoughts on this season? Like, what were your thoughts when you walked into this season? Seems very vanilla. I mean, the global rules of Cabal, you know, they're vulnerables. I don't know if they're ever going to have vulnerable on them, so I don't know if they're going to be able to spread that vulnerable. And I don't know if they're going to go below 25% max health to get all that extra damage. So the rule, the global rules seem pretty weak, which is good. Gives more theory crafting. Uh, these room bonuses seem interesting, though. I'm, I'm interested to see how they're going to shake out. Yeah, I think, I think, um, yeah, I think this is going to be an interesting season. I think the the cautionary tale is also like people are so adjusted to using hive mind on offense, and you've lost that on offense. So just a warning as a, as you look out towards the videos, look out for more offensive focus because you have to compensate for not having hive mind on offense anymore. Mm, um, gotcha. And so just. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on that note. Is just think about that. Think about that. Hive mind is not really a solution. You maybe have black. You may have a void knight as an offensive tune to use, but the vast majority of this uh, of hive mind will not be used in season seven. Um, they're too gotcha. slow. They don't have the firepower to, to kind of uh, keep up. Yeah, losing those bonuses gives them a big loss this season. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Valley, for being on here. I hope you all have a great rest uh, start of y'all season. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to both my channel and go check out Valley's channel uh, video on what to do on a more offensive focused uh, crucible. Later, y'all. Mike, bye for now. Have a good one.